Welcome back to Kids Central Online. Whether you're watching in the morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever day of the week it is, it does not matter. We are excited you are with us as we are jumping into the summer. Welcome to summer. No more school, no more books, no more teachers, dirty looks, and all that great stuff. It's going to be just a lot of fun, and we are going to be having a lot of fun together as we'll find out how to press play and live our life with confidence. Confidence is our life application this month, and here's what it means. Confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. Say that with me. Confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. When you discover how much God loves you, man, it just gives you power and energy. It feels like that you can handle anything that life throws your way. It's kind of like when you hear your favorite song on the radio or in your home, it just gets you pumped up. And that's why I love to start our time together with some worship music because it just gets me pumped up. Reminds me how much God does love me and how much He can give me the confidence I need to overcome anything. So let's stand up, let's use our bodies, let's use our voices as we learn this new song called Press Play. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Press play! Oh. dive into the month of June and we're talking about confidence, we're going to hear from some friends of ours that uh, help us learn about this life application word called confidence. One of our friends, actually a, a duo, MC Haggis and Seamus McFamous, let's say what they have to say about confidence. 
Am I facing the right direction? Okay. Oh, there you go. Hey, everybody! My name's MC Haggis, and I'm the greatest Scottish rapper to ever live. And this year is Seamus McFamous, my beatboxing partner. Say hello, Seamus. Hey. Now, this month we're talking about confidence. Seeing yourself the way God sees you. <laughs> hey. Huh? Hey. Oh, what's with the bag on my head? Hey! Oh, well, uh, I, I'm wearing this bag because I, I think it's going to be the, the, the latest fashion trend. It's going to be all the rage. It's going to be trending. Hey! No? Uh, oh, uh, I'm allergic to sunblock? Hey! <sighs> okay, I'll tell you where I'm wearing this bag on my head. Every year in Scotland, there's a competition called Pitten Ween's Got Talent. And Seamus and I are entered into it. Hey. Yeah, I don't, I don't want. I don't want to do it. Hey. Well, it's because I don't have enough confidence right now because because I have a pimple. Hey, it's because I have a pimple. Yeah, I can't get up in front of people and perform in front of them with a giant tangerine stuck to my face. Hey! No, no, I don't want to do it. I'm not taking off the back. Hey! No, I not want to do it. Hey! No, oh. All right. Here we go. Happy. Aye. All right. I'm gonna take off the mask. Happy. Aye. All right. I'll take off the third one. There. Ah! Oh, oh, is it that bad? Is it that bad? Aye. <laughs> Thanks. That's real funny. You're kidding. Okay. Good. <laughs> but I still don't want to do the show. Hi. I don't, because of the pimple, right? I, I, I. You're right, shame. It's about the music and not the pimple. I need to have confidence in who I was made to be. I'm gonna stand tall. Hey, I have my confidence back. Hey, let's rap about it. Kick it. Sometimes life can be intense and make you lose a proper sense of who you are. But a defense is to remind yourself of how God sees you, and that's confidence. Word. So you really can't see the pimple. Yeah. It's not that bad. Yay! All right. Okay, will you pop it for me? Because it'll heal quicker. Just put your fingers like together, and you go pinch, and you go... Yeah, that was an interesting take on confidence. Well, you know what, let's check out our friends at the So-and-So Show and see what they have to say about our life application word, confidence. Check it out. I just, I just thought we could use a little more cowbell. Two, three, four! <laughs> Everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, oh. and you're watching The So-and-So Show. Brandon, if you could pick one word to describe how you're feeling today, what would it be? 
I don't know, feelings are multi-layered and you don't only feel one way at a time. That was 16 words. Okay. I'm feeling confident. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's a great day, Brandon. I, I feel so extremely, unreservedly, unstoppably confident. That is a lot of confidence. You bet. I feel like I can do anything. Anything? Anything. Recite the alphabet backwards. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B N A. Wow! <laughs> you can do anything. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna pull this idea out of the air. I feel like I could sing any traditional song in any style you throw at me. Oh, good. Because it's time to play the Wheel of Singing Songs in Different Ways Than You Might Normally Sing Them. What? The Wheel of Singing Songs in Different Ways Than You Might Normally Sing Them. Yes. So for this game, we'll take turns spinning a wheel to discover our song. And then Brandon will randomly select a song style using his 1997 Casio and, keyboard. And we will have to sing the song in the selected song style. Woohoo! Let's do it. You go first. Oh, no. You should go no, first. No, I insist. Okay. Okay. Oh! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star in the style of... 90s pop. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are up above the world. So high like a diamond in the sky. What? Wow, that was... This is fantastic. <laughs> thank you. Dance thank moves you. and yeah, I yeah, should have yeah. gone first. I can't sing. Sure you can. Come on, come on. All right, here we go. Spin it. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. Yeah. In the style of? Country. Hey, hey. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, yahoo! <laughs> All you. right, thank you. Here we go, here we go. Joy to the world in the style of heavy metal. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Okay, no, no, that's, no, a, no, 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 no. that's enough of that. That's oh. okay. Okay, I'm gonna spin now. Ready? All right. Ah! Ah! Ooh. If you're happy and you know it, in the style of jazz blues. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, yeah. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Nicely done. Hey, let's do one more. Yeah, a little duet. A little duet, Wee. yeah. Boom! Little bunny foo foo in the style of hip hop. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bobbing them on the head. Down keep the good fairy. The good fairy said, "Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bobbing them on the head." What? Woo! Confidence of yours is contagious. Yeah, yeah, was it was. Crazy. It was. It was pretty awesome. Dude. You know what else is awesome? What? My jazz singing. No. Oh, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. Hey Kellen. What do you have for us? Well, today we're going to talk about one of the most famous verses in the Bible. John 3.16. Awesome. Hey, go for it. There are a lot of verses in the Bible, like a lot. There are so many different stories in the Bible about God's relationship with people, how he created us, loves us, and takes care of us. 
Sometimes looking at all these verses and trying to learn everything there is to know about God can feel a little overwhelming. But this one verse in the book of John is so epic and so simple all at once, it sums up a lot of what the other verses are saying. Here it is. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, and whoever believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. That's amazing news. Now, let's back up a little to see the full picture. Check this out. God created the entire universe, so many galaxies, and stars, and planets. And out of all these galaxies, stars, and planets, God so loved the world. God loves the world so much. He loves us so much. He sees every detail of the earth. He loves every person from every country, no matter the way people look or talk or dress or live. God loves them. From the very beginning, God so loved them. Did you catch that? God loved. God loved the world even though there were times when people were selfish or unkind. Like in the very beginning, when Adam and Eve first broke God's rule. Broken rules caused people to have a broken relationship with God. So what did God do? God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. God loved, so God gave. Jesus came to earth to spread God's love, to forgive us when we disobey God, and to heal our broken relationship with God. He came to give up his life, to pay a price that we could never pay on our own. God so loved the world, God loved. That he gave his one and only son, God gave. Anyone who believes in him, don't miss that. Whoever believes, anyone can believe in Jesus. Your family, your friends, the people who deliver your packages to your home, the people who even pass out the samples at the grocery store, anyone, even you. And God wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to hear from you. He wants you to put your trust in Him. And that relationship is ready and available to you when you believe. But that's not all. God loved, so God gave. Whoever believes will not die, but will have eternal life. Whoever believes lives forever. When you believe in Jesus, your relationship with Him won't end here on earth. It will last forever. Just think about how big forever is. Forever lasts forever. That's as big as the universe. One more time. God loved, so God gave. Whoever believes lives forever. That is the good news right there. Back to you guys. Wow, that, that's one huge verse. Totally, God sent Jesus as a gift. That's insane. A gift we don't even deserve. Exactly. And, and we can't do anything to earn a love that big. It had to be a gift. How's your confidence level now, John? Oh, it's through the roof. Yeah. Uh, I always need to be reminded how much God loves me and what Jesus did for me. Me too. I, you know, I think we could all use that reminder. So, reveal the question. Yeah. Ah. Uh. How does Jesus matter in your life? Great question. Yeah. I mean, he matters in the big, huge ways we just talked about, healing our relationship with God and, and giving us life. And there, there are other ways he can matter to you. Yeah, like uh, giving you confidence when you feel afraid. Yeah, uh, or, or, or giving you wisdom and help when you're making a hard decision. Or simply being a friend at, when you feel lonely. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. There are lots of ways Jesus works in our everyday lives. So talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Yes, we will. Yay! Dan dance funk. Dance funk. You want to do this one together? Camp Town Ladies, I don't know. Camp Town Ladies, sing the song, do da, do da. Uh. Camp Town Ladies, sing this song, do da, da, do da, da. Camp Town Ladies is five do times long. Oh, the do da day, day, day. day. Gonna run all night. Come on, come on. Gonna run all day. Hey, hey. Bet my something on a something else. Something, something. On the bed. Hey, whoa. Oh. I don't know I what I'm that doing. Was, that was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs>
I don't know, you want more? <laughs> Can we use no. some of that? <laughs> now John 3, 16 obviously is a famous verse in the Bible, but John actually had more to say in the next verse. In John 3, 17, it says this, God did not send his son into the world to judge the world. He sent his son to save the world through him. In other words, God didn't send Jesus to this earth to point out all of our mistakes and all of our sins, all the things that we've done wrong. No, he sent him to the world to save us. And he did it because he loves us. And you can absolutely have a relationship with God, not just now, but always. When you believe in Jesus, God promises that he will have a relationship with you that will last forever. That's an amazing gift from the creator of the universe who loves you no matter what. When you decide to have Jesus in your heart to be your savior, you'll have a confidence that you've never experienced before. And you'll know that you're a part of an amazing, never ending story that God is telling through all of history. Check out our bottom line. You can be confident because God loves you. Say that with me. You can be confident because God loves you. Good. Now let's make it personal. Change the you to I and me. And let's read it again. I can be confident because God loves me. Say that with your loud voice and say, I can be confident because God loves me. I can be confident because God loves me and he loves you. Let's pray and thank God for loving us. Hey God, thank you so much for your love. It's just incredible. It's never ending. It's unbelievable, unfathomable. And yet you love us. Creator of the universe loves me. Thank you for that love. Help me to remember that love throughout the entire day. Give me the confidence knowing that, you know what, God, you love me. And that's just an awesome feeling. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, this month's memory verse is in the book of Psalm, chapter 27, verse 13. And it says this, I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Here's how the motions go. We're gonna put our hand down because we say, I remain confident, like we've got confidence. So it's like, it's almost like we got a pole in our hand and we're gonna stamp it in the ground. We're gonna go, I remain confident in this. That's it, do that with me. I remain confident in this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord. Do that with me that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land, we're gonna bend down low, because we're looking down at the land, land of the living. Our hands spread out like that, okay? Let's do that again. I remain confident in this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Psalm 27, 13, nerve! All right, there you go. You've only got four weeks this time to learn that verse. Last month you had five weeks. This month, four. Make sure you memorize the verse and the motions. And we'll be working on it all month long. Glad you guys joined us. Hope to see you guys next week. Until then, see you later, guys. Blessings. Peace!